People are just absolutely loving the fills. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make tech house music like Camel Fat, Salado, Patrick Topping and Fisher. Over the last few weeks, I've been putting up tutorials on how to make different genres of dance music. So today is tech house. Now I'm going to be using Ableton Live, but you can do this in any door really, and you can do it just using the stock plugins that you already own. We will be going into sound selection. We will be going into creating bass, groove and shuffle. We will be creating a hook, like a little vocal hook. And I'm going to show you how to keep the interest alive in what can be a repetitive genre. And we're going to go a little bit into mixing too. So if you dig this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's hop into the door and get it done. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is select the right tempo. So we're going to have about 125 BPM because that's that tech house kind of tempo. Right, so after that, obviously, we want most important thing is the kick drum. So let's get a nice tech housey kick drum. So I'm on splice at the moment. That's that's quite good. But uh, Tech House at the moment in that kind of Patrick Topping or Fisher style is quite like a, a bit of distortion in the drum almost, which gives it a bit of a kind of lo-fi old school feel. But I'm just going to drag this in. Oh, and I see it's actually a loop. Um, so what you could do is you could, you could uh, use the loop or you could kind of splice it and then use separate samples, drag it into your sample pack. But for the sake of brevity, I'm just going to loop it. It's all in sync already. Cool. Okay, next thing to do is get some kind of bass groove going along. You could do the drums first, but I'm going to get the bass groove something cheeky, something a little bit naughty, because I'm a little bit cheeky and a little bit naughty. And this is Tech House after all. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my teacup and then I'm going to select a sample, I think. I'm going to use a sampler to do the bass line. So I'm just going to load the Simpler, which is the stock plugin for Ableton. Now a very simple sample. Then I'm going to go to my bass samples and I'm going to write, I'm not going to use a loop. I want to, to do one from scratch myself. So I'm just going to set, find a simple bass sound. Uh, I quite like these Vengeance Ultimate Bass sounds. Okay, we'll start with that and we'll We'll take it from there. So we'll drop it down a couple of octaves. And I'm just going to riff on my keyboard as I play the kick drum. But I don't want it so sustained actually, so I'm just going to tweak the sustain and release and decay. And I only want one voice playing, I don't want polyphony when it comes to the bass line. So with Tech House bass lines, quite often they are quite close on the keyboard. Rather than big chord changes that you get in progressive house and trance and things like that. So, so actually I, I think I will change this sample to, to um, a synth because it loses its power when you go lower down on the register. Anyway, let's get this bass line doing. I'm just going to loop it and jam. So I've doing, I'm doing a little bit of change at the end of, I think, eight bars. So I'm just going to make that loop twice as long and I'm just going to play it in and then I'll quantize it afterwards. So I'm doing this on my MIDI keyboard. You could program it in, of course. So I'm just going to make sure that track is armed, select record and let's go. Uh, just neaten this up a bit 
Um, just bring that there because I did. And now I'm just going to consolidate that. I'm going to um, quantize it by selecting them all by holding Command and A if I'm using a Mac or Control and A if I'm using a PC, um, Windows, and then open up my quantize. Okay, now we are going to actually change that sound or actually we'll duplicate it, quieten, mute the, mute the duplicate and then see if we can get a better Tech House kind of bass sound using. Um, using, let's use Serum. So I'm just gonna drag that onto my channel. And then I'm going to just Go to the stock plugin, see if we can find anything that works. That's quite cool. Okay, so that's good. I like that. That's the sound we want. But what we're going to do is, again, we're going to adjust, adjust the attack, sustain, and release the ADSR. And we've got to adjust the filter envelope as well, which is currently... So we could actually open that up as the track progresses for a bit more interest. Now I'm just gonna add some saturation to this, get it sounding a lot fatter. I'm going to use the Ableton one just so you can um, see it done using stock plugins, although we are using Serum, but I showed how you could do that with the sampler. Try some different presets. Just adjust the dry and wet. Okay, cool. So that will do for now. Now we want, we can just delete the original baseline. Well, let's do a little test. Which one do we like most? keep that one we will just add a little bit of EQ on it take off some of that high-end sizzle boost the low end a bit okay now we want to get a bit of shuffle in there so I'm going to go browse groove, groove library swing and groove MPC I'm going to go to MPC 16 swing 64 I'm going to take velocity down so it's only um, the timing it's going to be affecting so it just makes it a little less robotic gives it some swing And next, I am going to find some suitable drums and get the groove going. You could use a drum loop again, um, or you could program in your own drums. So let's listen to some, oh, these are quite old actually. None of them really suitable. Let's program one in because we're not here to just put loops together. We're here to produce our own music. So let's do that. Um, just going to open up the drums, find a cl clap first. Something quite short, I think, short and snappy. So let's go to drum hits, claps.
that's quite cool like a real sounding clap so let's just program that in I'll, I... To this clap to sound bigger so I'm going to add some saturation on here and I want a little bit of room reverb just to make it sound uh, wider as well so I've used the IO controls here to root the drum machine on the drum rack um, auxiliary channels to the global auxiliary channels that I've got set up here you know room and hall so let's just feed some of the room reverb into the clap hmm, let's just make it louder okay that's why because I don't have a reverb on there so I'm going to use I won't use the Valhalla actually although I usually would I'm going to use the stock plugin because um, I want you to be able to do it even if you don't have these other plugins so now let's get the decay time a lot shorter. In mono, still sounds good. So this is with no reverb on the clap, just a bit dry. Cool, okay, now let's get some actual drum groove kind of going. First, I'm actually going to drag this MPC groove clip onto the drums too so they've got the same swing as the bass line when we get those other drums in there now something that tech house would have would be a, a kind of ride symbol on every other beat rather than an open hat that's kind of a popular sound so let's get a ride symbol uh, ride that's cool cool enough um, again you can change these later if you want to I'm going to select classic mode voice one because we don't want more than one playing at once control the length of it by just having sustain at full and then I can program it in like so it slightly okay so now let's add some kind of skipping beats and stuff to get that real groove going on I'm gonna add a little bit of room reverb to the open hat too you can see we've got some issues clipping here so all I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring down all of the instruments until we've got plenty of headroom here oops just so we don't get any clipping okay okay let's add in some groove now let's add in some shuffle I'm gonna get a closed hat closed high hat okay let's bring that in and I'm just gonna add a bit of a cheeky little shuffle One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we might even reduce the global shuffle a little bit. It's quite strong. So that's with none on. And that's with a hundred on. So somewhere between would be good. Cool. and don't worry about the mixing we're going to get to that shortly let's just copy and paste this just copy and paste I've got that 
And we will be adding interest to this, don't worry. So I actually want that baseline to die out quicker. So I'm going to go to the ADSR controls for the volume again and just try and make it a bit more punchy. And you want a kind of raw sound when it comes to this um, deep house, uh, sorry, this tech house kind of sound. Now we're going to add some incidental sounds. And this is what keeps the interest going because, you know, tech house could be a quite repetitive genre of music. So it's all about the arrangement and it's all about adding these little um, like interesting hits and uh, sound effects as well. So we're going to add a little vocal sample first. Um, let's go to vocals. Someone. Um, um, <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got this um, sample from a tune I made years ago. So I'm just going to create a uh, audio track for this just so I can manipulate the audio rather than uh, as a sample in the drum machine, in the drum rack. And I'm going to pitch it, I'm going to warp it so I can pitch it. Then I'm going to choose Complex Pro, pitch it down to minus 12. Performance down. Cool. So it just has a little bit of interest. Now we want to uh, give the drums a bit of interest too. Just going to put that up because I count that as a, a drum hit because I'm using it as a drum. So to, to get these drums a bit more interest, before we start going into the horns and the effects, that is a technical term by the way. We are going to add some panning, auto panning on these closed hats, and the way we are going to do that is use the Ableton Auto Panner. Here we go. I would usually use the Sound Toys Pan Man because it's got more control over it, but again, for the same reason. So you can hear it's now bouncing around in your head. So let's get some of those cool effects on the go. Now, I'm going to give an example of what would happen with arrangement because as I said that's how you keep the interest in Tech House so all I'm going to do is drop a kick here and then double them up on the drop here this is kind of a Danny Howard um, yeah Tech House kind of sounding thing But on that drop, we want, we'll get rid of chords and riff and all that because we're not going to use them. Um, I'm just going to call this kick just so we see what is what. Um, and then color our track like that. Um, so I want some big kind of wow sound effect. So you could do this in a synth, absolutely, but you could also just kind of listen to some crazy effects um, where are some big synth weird effects mm. I'm 
Okay, there's an example of what you could use um, as one. I'm just going to load this into um, into the main drum rack, and this is to create interest. So you might have just quietly. But we still want this big distorted sound. I've got it in my head. It's like. That's another good one. So we are going to use this sound as well. And I'm going to load this into its own sampler. I'm going to go simple, simpler. Go back to my sounds. Drop this, this one in. And. I'm going to load the same groove onto this groove, and I will show you what I'm going to do. So it's just to add some kind of interest as as it's going. Um, but anyway, let's let's focus on what I'm doing, which is, you know, you might have a big horn. This is where on Fisher's losing it on the drop, he'd have this big horn going. Wham. So we we we're not going to use that because it's been done. I'm actually going to manipulate this just to show it's a bit it's a bit of fun. Do a bit of sound design. I mean, this is a really old sample, so it's not, there's no stereo width to it, there's nothing. So we want some movement in that. First, I'm going to shave off this last bit because it's a, don't want that. We want to make this really big, and um, the way I'm going to do that first is add an EQ. No uh, auto filter. Gonna whack the resonance up, and I'm gonna do a, a a filter sweep, like a band sweep. Actually, no, I'm not because that sounds absolutely rubbish. Don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is get rid of some of the bass in that. Make it really big. I'd usually do this on an aux channel, but for the sake of brevity, I'll do it here. That's just, so it's a really big sound, you know. And it lasts a long time. We're gonna add some room reverb here. So on the drop, now we've got this big, big sound. And we might have a, another vocal hit there saying something else, just so it's a call and response. So he goes, yeah. Or, or it goes meow and there's something else so it's all about the groove when it comes to tech house you know people have people are just absolutely loving the filth when they're dancing to tech house i know from experience so let's find something classic rave hit yeah why not a letter holloway you absolute legend um Yeah, that'll sound good, so I'll just... So something like this. What do you think so far, guys? Let me know in the comments below what genre do you want me to make on this channel. Again, I read every comment and I really appreciate your input. So thanks for leaving a comment and let's get back to the tutorial. So another thing you could do is add a like little bit of a reverse snare as well. 
So, and a double clap somewhere. So a reverse clap would sound a bit like, well, guess what? It would sound like a clap, but in reverse. So I'm gonna go clap, reverse clap. That's a nice one, I made that. One of my favorites. I'm just gonna do it on an audio track because uh, time is running out. Take it down in. We could do a double clap here as well. Um, so this is uh, what it would sound like. And I'm gonna give you a quick example of the kind of arrangement trick that you might use in Tech House just to filter it out. So, but I'll, I'll explain, okay. I'm going to send the bass and the kick to a bus. Um, in Ableton Live, I'm just going to group them, but in any other door, you just send them to one bus so you can process them together. I'm going to call this kick and bass. Uh, whoops, I renamed the wrong thing. Kick and bass, bus. I'm going to color it red. So you then might employ some kind of a filter. Again, I'm just going to use some built in one. Um, and this. So you'd have a section of the track doing this, basically. And then on the drop. Oi, why did that stop? That was embarrassing. That's like when you're DJing and the sound, you press the wrong button and the sound stops. Taxi, okay. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna bypass it and then unbypass it. So let's keep it on. And let's get a nice big rising sound. Not too cheesy mind, because it's tech house, not trance. I'm just gonna get, a, for the sake of brevity, a white noise riser, FX sweep up. Okay, here we go. So you'd have a build like this, maybe. And you'd add some more effects here, like some delay on the drums to take out the power. Okay, so now let's do the mix down really quick. I think I've covered everything I wanted to in this tutorial, apart from the mix. So let's just go through and do it quickly. First, the kick in the bass, you want that rocking nice and fat. They're already sounding pretty fat. You might add some saturation um, and process them together. If you're, a, um, I, I really love the, um, the sound toys decapitator for this, but I'm just gonna use the plugin, that, the um, stop plugin for Ableton. Just to fatten it up a bit. Now in terms of drums, just make sure that you're cutting out the low end where it's needed on these different instruments. So let's use some EQ on the ride hat. All this low end, don't need it. Much better. That's the thing using old, older samples, quite often there's a lot of unwanted frequencies in there. This 909 hat. You, you want to make sure you don't take out too much body. And now clap, let's see what's going on there. Uh, 
And for this build, I'm just going to reduce the length of these ride hats so there's more impact when it comes in. Okay, that hasn't really worked because the delay I put, uh, the decay I put on them, the release. It's a bit loud now. So there you have it guys, I really hope you enjoy this tech house tutorial, let me know what you want me to cover in my next video, download my free guide if you want, like, subscribe, all that good stuff and until next time, cheers and happy producing.